apologize for that. Um, programming committee. Um, yes, Mariel Reyes, who is on the committee, but is in the booth projecting, so cannot be up here because that's how it works. Double duty sometimes, you know. And uh, David White, who's right here. Uh, perhaps, perhaps she's under a different name tonight. She first showed her a, one of her films. It was called Doe. It was in 2007. I think you were like 12 years old at that time. <laughs> But that's okay with us, because um, we're open, we're open. So, um, and then there's so many, there's lots of filmmakers and installation artists who are in the house tonight. Uh, one thing, because we do have significantly less funding than last year, um, I made the painful decision to not print a catalog, um, and it saved us $15,000, even though I love catalogs. Saved us fifteen thousand to not print it. Holy shit! Yeah, right, right. So, um, but so that means that I don't have a cheat sheet to remember everything. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there's lots of people here, like uh, So Yoon Kim, Kate Ha, right? Have I, have I, have I, is Kate Ha here? Yeah. I have seen Kate Ha. Um, Kate Ha, who's been, who was, who has been attending Mix since the first festival in 1987. Um, Woo! Oh, and I haven't done my homework. Uh, Sam, Sam Centore, uh, Suzanne Wu, Carl Short, Anna Henson, Daniel Van Westen. Uh, Zuzu New, who made the cat butt installation. It's uh, very crazy and you should visit it. There's things in there, There's nipples to suck on. Fred Morin. Uh, Rachel Madsen, Yvonne Ng. Yeah! Uh, oh, Marie Lascou, Lorena Ramir Ramirez Lopez, Stefan Girard, who just came in from Paris and is, and is wonderful and uh, a dear friend just because of mix. Leah, Leah James and uh, Mars Hobrecker are here. They have an installation uh, in one of the back rooms. And Sofia Moreno. So lots of filmmakers, lots of filmmakers and artists here tonight. And I'm sure I've missed some, I apologize for that. I also want to thank um, two new board members this year, um, Damien and Philip, who joined yeah. our board. Um, I, the work of the board is a bit unending, and um, often thankless. We're really excited to tell you, too, that we are still recruiting. So um, a board of directors is a group of people from the community served by the organization who are elected to um, provide oversight of finances and mission. Um, also to raise money. So if you have experience with raising money, if you have passion about this organization, I would like to talk to you about the board and you could also talk to Jim or um, Krista when she's here later this week, or Damien or Philip or me. Or Steven. But you know, talk to that. <laughs> uh, we, should, we should also thank Chelsea Scott who uh, was on our program committee a few years ago and also stepped up really to help kickstart and push it through when, when we wanted to, but kind of also didn't have quite the drive and she was just like, come on! Yeah, Chelsea! And, and it happened, and it happened. And really it happened. made it happen. Yeah. Thank you, Chelsea. Uh, yeah. So, uh, so we, should have, we should have a word from Chris Gray. What about that? What, yes, tell us. Tell us. Um, actually, I wanted to know about parties. <laughs> there are some. The are not it's sense. here, it's now, it's that you were in. It's going. It's, you, yeah, we are here for you. We are the world. Um, hi, my name is Chris Gray. I just want to um, take a second to invite you to explore the space at Mix. Um, there are, depending on how you count them, like 13 or 14 different immersive installations throughout the space. Um, they're everywhere you look, in the bathrooms, on the floor, hanging from the ceiling. Um, so get out there and experience them. Take your time because there's so much um, amazing, wonderful stuff. I wanted to uh, really say a thank you to the artists that lent their time and their skills and their creativity to transforming this space and lending uh, their work. And I also wanted to um, say a quick thank you to Kyle uh, Croft, who's been my um, really like uh, arms and eyes and mouth and pretty much done all of the heavy lifting. So thank you so much, Kyle. Thank you. And, and Dan Tyler, who was the number two there with Kyle, who really helped a lot. Yeah. All of the folks that helped make these installations possible, it's really, it's really, um, thank you. 
Uh, I wanted to say quickly that there are two performances that are happening. There are also performances throughout the week. Um, and there, you can check the website for those um, scheduled times. But I wanted to um, point specifically, uh, right after this screening set, we're going to have two performances that will begin immediately, and you can just sort of progress in that direction um, towards the stage area, and we'll have um, Gabriel Wales will be doing um, a performance called Progression. And also, uh, Sean and Anna have created uh, an installation in this back corner called Molt, and there will be uh, a performance um, part of that that happens back there and continues throughout the evening as well. So please stick around and see those performances. Yeah. Woohoo! Wow, there was something else, but I don't remember exactly what it is. <laughs> Um, so we should probably start the show. I have a technical Woo! note on that, which is, which is that, um, so the, I think the third piece, so running, running through, running through the festival is our short pieces of, and longer pieces by Barbara Hammer. It's a quasi tribute. We don't really do that kind of thing normally, but we are doing it. <laughs> And um, so you're going to see Deck Tactics tonight, which of course is my favorite film of hers that I can't stop watching um, after 20 years. Um, and uh, so that's going to be on 16. We kind of have uh, a meltdown of all the 16 millimeter projectors, like at 7:45 tonight. Um, so I'm going to do something in the middle of the aisle to try to make it work. Um, that will take your patience and cooperation for a minute. Um, but you know that's. What makes it fun and exciting and interesting, so I hope you're there with us for that. Um, that's my technical note, I think. But and that's a lot of talking, I know. We just want to talk a little bit about some new stuff we're trying out this year. And um, Philip is going to um, introduce Woo! some some ideas and thoughts. Very quickly. Oh, second time I've ever held a microphone and I don't like it. Um, <laughs> This year at Mix, we are trying to create um, a space where we can support everyone in feeling as safe as they can. And I know that we just mentioned some things about nightlife. So as you move through the festival this year, there will be some people walking through uh, and intending and enjoying this filling um, and the event. And we will be wearing hot pink armbands. I'm not wearing it yet. Right here. <laughs> um, and we will actually have a Safer Spaces booth set up in a rest and relaxation area, which is a way to kind of step away from the party get some cool water, and kind of chill out on your own, and um, recuperate and rest and recover. Um, if you do experience or witness anything that you feel is unsafe, or that makes you nervous, or uncomfortable, or violates our community standards, I am a person you can come to. Anyone with a pink armband is someone that you can go to. And we will take steps to move forward from there to ensure the safety of everyone in this space.